So here we are. We are skating at Sylvan Rodriguez Park, and here is my goofy sister Justine and her goofy looking dance moves. I brought them out today to skate. She seems absolutely thrilled considering that she just bought a new pair of skates from Sunski and Sports. I took her there last week and we picked her a pair out. And coming up ahead is Jessica. She is my oldest sister. She prefers to skate in quad skates rather than inline skates. She was telling me that she has a better balance. I pick this park very often to come to is because it has a lot of smooth surfaces to where there's not a whole lot of separations in the cracks of the concrete. So it is a good learning ground for my sisters and my wife. They often feel more comfortable skating here. You can compare it very closely to a roller rink considering how smooth it is. The objective today is to get as much exercise as I can while learning technique. And of course technique does not always involve speed. Sometimes you can learn technique through some of the goofy things that you do and you play around with. I did that today, I've learned a couple new moves. This is the one circle I like to speed around in. It gives me a lot of exercise and a lot of adrenaline so that I can continue to skate and perfect my strides, so to speak. I like it because there is not any kind of crack that's going to cause me to fall. So that way I can go as fast as I can. Sometimes if you're just not in the mood to skate, you just need that quick burst to start off with and after that you're ready to go. One thing leads to another. I like to stay in the circle because they're skating in the circle too and that way they can still be around me. Alright, we are changing location and I found something that could be very similar to an extra light hockey puck. I don't have any real hockey pucks, not to say I wouldn't get one, but this is all I have for now. We happened to find this lid just laying around, so we figured we'd put it to good use. It's actually pretty fun to uh, kick it around considering that it does roll and fly like a frisbee, so there is some kind of advantage to it. I've encouraged Justine to play this little game so that we can improve our turning skills and stopping and starting skills. And to my surprise, she was actually very good at it. For her first time. This is her first time that she is skating with me. My sister Jessica, this is her second time skating with me. Justine already has that balance that a usual inline skater would have. Even though it does look like nothing but fun and games, it actually does take quite a lot of skill to do what we're doing right now without falling. I know every time I play this game with myself, I end up falling like two or three times, at least. I do have the advantage over her though, because I am wearing hockey skates and she is wearing a recreational skate. She is wearing the K2s, and I am wearing Bauer hockey skates. After playing this little game for a while, I have seen that I needed some work on my foot placement. I need better control, better stopping power, and I need to be ready to go as soon as I stop. As you can see from here, I am chasing this plastic lid around, and it is blowing in the wind. Another disadvantage. But I got it back in there and we can continue the game. She was quite receptive while we are playing this, keeping her eyes on it and on top of that, watching her foot placement. It definitely does take balance to lift one foot off the ground and kick the puck with the other foot. And in a sense that is training for 
whenever you do a drag stop, it requires you to take one foot off the ground and to drag the other foot, putting only an uh, amount of significant pressure. Here is my niece, Aurora. She was also there at the park with us today. There's a jungle gym in the back where her and Violet can play on while we were skating. And then we continued to play this game a little while longer before it got dark. As long as you hit the hockey puck, at least you've contributed to taking your foot off the ground and maintaining that balance. Even though the hockey puck didn't go anywhere. In a process of falling, it is better just to collapse your legs and go ahead and slowly fall. Instead of staying stiff and then hitting the ground with impact. The injuries with an impact are often the injuries that cause broken bones. What contributes to injuries like that is just being distracted totally and not watching your foot placement. And then that twig or something is right in front of you and you just roll right over it without confidence and that's how hard and quick you're going to hit the ground. So this was a good game for us because it gets us used to having something below our feet. Now it's time for the dance moves. I can't say that I'm an excellent dancer with or without my skates but I like to play with my feet and just see where they take me. Kinda just trickery really see where they go. Sometimes I learn the edges of my wheels this way and see how far I can go without slipping. It's probably better to wear a helmet or elbow pads and knee pads in this process. But me knowing how I am I didn't even bring them this time. I can record you better Jamie. Because you cannot go all the angles. Whoa. Uh, excuse me, buddy. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sure. My goodness. I'm glad I have it in camera. Did you see that? That was my first parallel power slide. Huh? Check that out, Missy. 
I practice this maneuver over and over again until I start to perfect it. That's why I need wheels every month. <gasps> Jamie! Most of the power slides that you see me do before is more like a T-stop power slide. <laughs> Let me remind you at this point my wheels were very low on these inline skates so they were beyond worn. I'm almost down to the plastic to be practicing this. So you're trying to finish those wheels or what? You trying to down with your wheels today or what? Yeah, well that's what the little That's good. I'm not saying that it's bad, I'm just trying to see if you it's what you're trying to do. Really? Yeah. What? What? And then what do you do today? Uh-huh. Wow. Oh, got you. Yeah. Huh. Don't break a leg. I see. I appreciate y'all watching today and me skating with my family. Tune in next time and I'm going to let this clip roll with my goofy moves and hopefully you enjoy it. Yeah, it sounds like it. My goodness, <laughs> Jamie, don't she make her, she don't make her act crazier. Oh yeah, she did finally. Yeah, because I got grass for her little bug. Oh, she got a bug. <laughs> she goes, no, don't, don't, don't kill it. She goes, squish it. And she says, it's cute. Oh, oh. It's I think she's squeezing it or something. Don't squeeze it. Don't kill it. Poor thing. She's so mean. Oh, she got in trouble. She's so mean at the school. She doesn't want to squeeze it. I hope she's not. Oh, my goodness.